Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Jarelle Mata. Today we're going to be doing a review on this concealer that I picked up at Walgreens. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. It claims to be a 24 hour concealer. Obviously I cannot test it for 24 hours because no, <laughs> but we're going to be testing it for at least eight hours. It is right now 12 o'clock, so I will try my best to wear it for as long as I can and I will let you guys know exactly my thoughts at the end of the day. And I did get one shade only because it was like $11 and this is the shade 18. They did have testers which is so amazing at Walgreens where I was able to test the shade 20 and then it jumps from 20 to 25 and that 25 was really really dark. The 20 was way too light and the 18 was actually perfect. So we're going to be testing it using the foundation as well. I don't know if this is going to be matching me because this one might be a little bit too dark since I am not as tan as I was in the summer, um, but we're going to make it work. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can also click on a little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every single week. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. <laughs> All right, so I am priming my face using the Banana Bride Face Powder by Ulla Henriksen, and it just works with a lot of foundations and with my skin type and with my skincare. So that is something that I am always doing. I like to test things the way that I am using it at the moment. Um, if I find that there is a primer that I am loving, I'm going to use it with the primer. So it's not that I am going to take back from using the foundation or concealer. Um, and use it in a different way because I'm testing it. No, I want to test it actually with the things that I'm already using to make sure that it actually works because this is normal to me, like to prime my face, to use powder and all of that. So just wanted to <laughs> let you know that. So I am going to start with the foundation. As you can see, it might be a little bit darker than everything in my face, my chest and everything. So going to see how it works out and this is in the shade 312 so for my for my forehead it looks okay because my forehead is always darker but um even my <laughs> even my shoulders is a little bit lighter than this foundation but we'll make it work all right guys, so let's go into the concealer. Once again, I got the shade light medium 18. So this is the applicator. It is super bright compared to the foundation shade that I have run right now. It is going to be a really nice contrast. I'm going to apply it like I normally do for my concealers, which is really right here on the side of my nose and on the darkness, the inner corner of my eyes where it shows the darkness. Then I will add a little bit on my forehead, the bridge of my nose. And here I do have darkness around my mouth and this area right here. Now going back with the sponge, the other side of the sponge, I'm going to start blending the concealer and I'm just going to bring it to the side to clean it up a little bit all right so it is giving me really light coverage um because I do see the darkness still on my chin it's not the type of coverage that I usually go for like I like full coverage like Tarte Shape Tape, um, Dijue Concealer. Another concealer that I've been liking is the Dose of Colors Concealer that gives me really nice coverage as well. This one is not the coverage that I'm used to. I'm going to try it a little bit more. I'm going to try to see if I can build it up. I'm tapping like so lightly just so we can just so I don't lose the coverage all 
All right, guys, so I'm bringing it in a little closer so you can see my under eyes. And so I was able to build it up to the coverage that I like. This is how the foundation looks like and the concealer. So I am going to use the concealer a little bit over here, a little bit over here as well, just so we can make it work. Now what I'm going to do is just set my face, my under eyes, like I always do, um, using my Laura Mercier powder. So I did my whole entire face of makeup, um, you know, powder and everything. So let's bring you in a little closer so you can see. So, so far it's been, what, two hours um, or an hour and a half since I um, added the concealer and it's not cracking or anything like that. I do have five fine lines because I'm 39. <laughs> so of course I am going to have some fine lines uh, I do have some texture under my eyes and any concealer that I use it does emphasize it so just in case you're seeing that that's what it is but um the concealer looks really 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 good especially from like far away if I'm not like all up in my eye it does look and does look good it doesn't look like super cakey it doesn't look like it's um settling in any of my fine lines it doesn't look like it's um grayish anymore like it actually did in the beginning so so far so good i will check with you guys in a little bit and yeah i have to go to pick up my children with this full glam baby <laughs> bye all right guys so it's five o'clock and this is how the concealer looks like all right, so it's not creasing or anything like that. It's still, the coverage is still there. It's still working out really, really nice. I am getting a little oily on my chin from the foundation, but the concealer still looks really, really good. So yeah, super happy about that. <clears throat> All right, guys, so it is 8.14 right now. All right, so this is the way the concealer looks. And it looks really really good it hasn't faded away or anything like that it didn't crease so here is that i have my bags but like nothing can really cover that so yeah um it doesn't feel like it is super drying whatsoever it feels really nice and smooth it doesn't feel like it's creating any texture like it's flaking or anything like that it's still the coverage is still pretty much there even where i put the concealer which was on the side of my face as well on my forehead i don't see that it's actually breaking up or anything like that which i'm super happy um so yeah definitely recommend this uh, very very much i think it is a great concealer um it is pretty pricey for being drugstore like i said in the beginning of the video but just in case i don't know if i said it but just in case I didn't say it, it was $11 and I got it at Walgreens. So, but yeah, so far so good. I am going to be definitely using it again, maybe for like a less glam and continue on just doing my investigations. But yeah, it passed the test. It is really nice and cool here in Florida. So that might have helped it a little bit. Uh, foundations and concealers are very tricky for me during the summertime, but this one, so far so good so yeah that's it for the maybelline super stay full coverage concealer review i hope that this was helpful to you and if you see it on store and you are similar to my skin tone um definitely go with the shade 18 i think it works really good i like the little yellow undertone that it has i think it is a perfect match and i'm really thankful that walgreens had the testers on so you know i can swatch it on my hands because that definitely helped me out a lot instead of me buying like 
three concealers and having to return it and use so yes i'm super happy that the drugstore is now doing that so yeah thank you so much once again for being here i hope that this was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time